Hey, and welcome to the first episode of our deck tech series on MTG Alpha. We will be breaking down our builds on various commanders, which you may also see featured in our commander gameplay episodes. Today's deck tech is Shadrick Silverquill, a legendary creature from Strixhaven. Shadrick Silverquill is a 2 5 Elder Dragon with flying and double strike. Shadrix has an ability that triggers at the beginning of your combat phase, which allows you to choose two of the following. Target player creates a 2-1 white and black inkling creature token with flying. Target player draws a card and loses one life. And target player puts a plus one plus one counter on each creature they control. Each mode must target a different player. For Shadrix, I chose to build a deck around creating tokens and forcing my opponents to draw cards. This deck aims to win through indirect damage, draining our opponent's life total, and gaining value from a mass of creature tokens. Now there are plenty of cards which punish our opponents for drawing cards. Fate Unraveler, Underworld Dreams, and Omnixilis the Hate Twisted all deal 1 damage to our opponents for each card they draw. Omnixilis also allows you to destroy a creature while forcing your opponents to draw 2 cards, dealing 2 damage with its minus 2 ability. Then we have Iron Maiden, which deals 1 damage to our opponents on each of their upkeeps for each card more than 4 in their hand. We can also deal damage to our opponents for each card they discard with Megrum and Liliana's Caress, both of which are enchantments that deal 2 damage to our opponents for each card they discard. Waste Knot is a powerful 2-mana enchantment in this deck, and for every card your opponents discard, you either create a 2-2 black zombie creature token, add 2 black mana to your mana pool, or draw cards depending on the type of card they discarded. Now we can force our opponents to draw cards through Shadrix's ability, which also deals 1 damage to them, but we can also force them to draw cards and discard cards with Farsight Adept, Dark Deal, Death Cloud, Peer into the Abyss, and Sadistic Hypnotist. Farsight Adept makes you and target opponent each draw a card when it enters the battlefield. Dark Deal makes each player discard all the cards in their hand, drawing that many minus 1. Death Cloud and Peer into the Abyss can easily take out one or all of our opponents. Peer into the Abyss is a 7 mana sorcery which forces target player to draw cards equal to half the number of cards in their library and losing half their life rounded up each time. This can add up doubling or tripling the amount of damage that they take for drawing cards by having something like Underworld Dreams out on the battlefield. Death Cloud is a perfect fit in this deck. It costs X and 3 black, and as each player loses X life, discards X cards, sacrifices X creatures, and sacrifices X lands. Having Megrum or Liliana's Caress out in the battlefield deals even more damage to our opponents, and having Waste Not out helps us gain value from Death Cloud, turning this into a more one-sided sorcery. This deck has plenty of ways to gain life, draw cards, and create tokens, which makes Death Cloud more of a threat for our opponents. Finally, Sadistic Hypnotist has an ability that reads, Sacrifice a creature, target player discards two cards. This can only be done at sorcery speed, but with the amount of tokens we will be creating, we can easily empty out our opponent's hands. And that brings us to the next portion of this deck tech, tokens. With Shadrick's ability, we can create a 2-1 white and black inkling creature token with flying on the beginning of our combat phase. We can also create creature tokens with Grave Titan, Keeper of the Accord, Court of Grace, Thales, Reverent Medium, and Curse of Disturbance. Grave Titan creates two 2-2 two -two zombies whenever it enters the battlefield or attacks. Keeper of the Accord creates us a 1-1 soldier token at the beginning of each opponent's end step as long as they control more creatures. Court of Grace creates a 1-1 white spirit creature token with flying at the beginning of our upkeep, or a 4-4 white angel with flying if you are the monarch, which when Court of Grace enters, you become the monarch. Thalus Reverent Medium gives you X 1-1 white spirit creature tokens with flying at the beginning of each end step where X is the number of tokens you created that turn. And Curse of Disturbance creates the attacking player a 2-2 black zombie creature token whenever the enchanted player is attacked, which is great since it may help encourage our opponents to attack another player. Now flooding the board with tokens is great, but there are ways we can gain value from doing so. Oriok Champion, Soul Warden, Soul's Attendant, and Suture Priest each allow you to gain one life for each creature that enters the battlefield. With Suture Priest, it deals one damage to your opponents for each creature that enters the battlefield under their control. Corpse Knight also deals 1 damage to your opponents for each creature that enters the battlefield, instead it's whenever they enter under your control. Now we can pump the tokens we created using Shadrix's third ability, and also with cards like Elish Norn, Ethereal Absolution, Prava of the Steel Legion, and Intangible Virtue. Creatures you control gain plus 2 plus 2 from Elish Norn, plus 1 plus 1 from Ethereal Absolution and Intangible Virtue, and plus 1 plus 4 from Prava of the Steel Legion as long as it's your turn. 
Elish Norn and Ethereal Absolution also give your opponent's creatures minus one, minus one, and minus two, minus two. So that later in the game, if you choose to use Shadrix's other ability, giving your creatures plus one, plus one's counters, or if you need to draw more cards, you can easily give your opponents the tokens, which will likely die as soon as they enter the battlefield. And with those plus one, plus one counters from Hadrix, your creatures will have menace thanks to Hagrid Constrictor. With Divine Visitation, all of your tokens are 4-4 angels with flying and vigilance for even more evasion. And to top it all off, with Anointed Processions out on the battlefield, you're looking at double the amount of tokens you produce. Now all in all, this deck covers just about everything you need. There's card advantage, an army of creatures, ways to gain life, and ways to deal damage to your opponents. I think Shadrach Silverquill is an amazing commander and has a lot to offer with its abilities, but let me know what you think. What cards would you add to this deck? Also, don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed this episode. We have more deck techs to come in the future, as well as commander gameplay episodes featuring these decks. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.